Is it on? Do you know how to work that thing? Not as good as the original, but pretty close, right? Okay, so now you're wondering, what the fuck are you doing in front of the camera? Well, this is the studio reporter recording. Reporting live from HQ. Thursday, 2 in the afternoon. So, here's the deal. I was going to get the guys to give you the latest scoop. Been bugging them, but they're pretty busy right now in the control room and doing all their things. So I'm like, okay, I gotta keep my promise. I gotta have it up by Friday, a video for you guys. So then I thought, okay, if I can't get the band, I'm gonna get every motherfucker here at HQ. So uh, let's start right now and see what everybody's doing. Give me the camera. Okay, so behind the camera here, helping me shoot, is the person that helps out the web department, Jeff. And Hi. here's a little decoration, and this is how the web department looks like. Normally it's a, a lot vibier, but today it's not. And when I do my updates for you guys, this is where I sit if I'm in the fan club part of it. Uh, HQ is divided into two parts, a fan club part and then the band part. So here we got Jeff doing some updates, downloading some songs, whatever he's doing. So uh, that's it here. Let's see what we got on the walls. We got some uh, good old bands. Swedish Thrashers Dance with the Devil, Entombed. We got some other favorite bands that the guys are into too. Hate Breed. Good old Jimmy there. And then... I would say that I have no comment on that picture. And then, there we go. The Halloween feeling is coming here to HQ. So, let's walk on. Let's go back. Back here. Oops, I almost fell. That would be fun on the video. Okay. So here we are. And this is where the fan club people, sometimes, people that work for the fan club, sit down and have their food. And there is the president of the club. And I don't know if sleeping or what's going on in there, but that's where she is there. We got a uh, one of those old black, the black album awards going to our buddy Stefan. Thanks Stefan, you made it happen. Okay, so let's walk on. Here, sorry for switching the camera fast, is where you go back to the band area. And let's not do that right now, let's walk downstairs and see what's going on in the fan club part. Got a nice old banner that we brought on tour. Pretty cool, some of you guys might have seen it. Okay, we're walking on here, let's see what we find downstairs. Ta -da. There, let's see, let's check on the walls. This is the m membership department and where if you guys send in questions and, and letters, they first, people read them first here and then give on to the band. Over there we got Gene. You're packing a package there for some lucky guy. Girl? Walter Waljus in Purvu, Finland. Oh. Lucky Walter. He's a medium. Good. And he's he's gone. <laughs> and we got a little Halloween feeling in here too. So that was the membership letters. So let's go on into this place. I believe we're going into the merchandise department. What's going on today? What's up? <laughs> oh, you know, party. What would you say you do here? Um, generally, clean toilets. Clean toilets, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anything else that would be of interest for anybody? Uh, merchandise. Merchandise. On a good day. So, is this where, if any orders comes into the fan club, is, uh, are you the person that takes care of it? Yes, I am. Perfect. <laughs> Great. That would be it. And Toby? I, I don't do anything. And Toby, you might have seen him on the road behind the <laughs> Met Club booth. Next to you. <laughs> so, 
So uh, show us around. This is your department. Show um, us around. What do we got well, here? Here's the merch room. Wow. Isn't it big? That's amazing. Is that all the merch you guys That's got? That's all the merch. Well, I store a few things back here in the back. Okay. But uh, mostly that's the med store over there you just saw, and this is just stuff that we um, that I keep because I'm a, um, I'm kind of a stingy bastard. Okay. And uh, let's see what else? Oh, I got I got new stuff. Let's see new stuff. Look at this. Yeah, exclusive. Um, this is exclusive. It's actually a, sh um, a new three-dimensional scary guy that James um, painted on our HQ wall, and we decided to make it into a shirt. You shot the back. It's Oh, yeah. Who came up with a lovely color, would you say? Uh, I would say that um, the art is James, and the color is probably Lars, because he's got this orange shirt that he, um, how can I put it, he likes to wear frequently, I guess is a nice way to put it, and uh, he wanted an orange shirt, and so we're rushing to get this one out. It's gonna. It's actually on sale in the Met store today, mm. and we're trying to get it out before... Um, for Halloween, because it's obviously kind of Halloween. It's only for clubbers. Oh, and, and just so people know, that there is actually a lyric book. It does exist. This is what it looks like. It's a little small, hardbound book with all the lyrics in it from all the albums. Cool. It's very cool. When will that be available? It's available right now. Okay, so it looks like we're plugging a little too much. But plugging! Have... Plugging is what it's about. So and, cool. Um, Any other cool things you want to show? Uh, I want to show this this banner here, this poster I got at Tommy's joint when we did the Metallica Calabash, and mm -hmm. all the kids they signed that because I won it in a drawing and I paid five dollars for it, and that's the important thing is that I won it fair and square. Cool. And all the kids they kind of jotted on and stuff and drew little funny pictures on Jason and you know stuff like that, which is cool. And uh, yeah, people didn't believe it was hanging up, and there it is. Do you get anything that's like sold out that people would love to see but they can't buy? And I'd love to see it, they can't buy. People that follow the camera move, they're going to ask, what the heck did I just see? That's right! <laughs> <laughs> can't buy now that it's... in stores, I'll tell you that right now. Is that available? No. No. It's not available. Kind of... She might be available. But not in the store? Not in the store, though. Okay. Not yet, anyway. I think you got any cool carry. other collectible thingies? Yeah, I've got all kinds of collectible. How collectible is that? Not very. Mm. Let me show you something collectible. Okay. How collectible is that? Now that is cool. 1987 Zorlac quality puss head material right there. Clubbers only. But yeah, <laughs> I wish. Wish we had a club then. That is classic. And uh, James with the flag. Um, that also is an exclusive. Headquarters only. Right here. Lars on the Rhino. Did you get Lars on the Rhino? Yeah. Got him. He loves that. He just loves it. The Rhino? Yeah. Miles calls it Daddy with long hair on the Rhino. And um, all kinds of stuff. Let me get a shot of this. This is a new Squindo Alien. Wow. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. That's it. Exclusive. Do Don't it. freeze that frame. Don't freeze that. <laughs> cool. Cool. Well, we're going to rock on. Heavy, you heavy metal for all. Alrighty, so. What a lovely file room. Lovely. So let's move on. I know you guys can say, well, show us the band part. Show us the band part. So you know what? I'm going to show you the band part. Alright, so we're moving on. Hopefully it's open. Sometimes they say. Stay the fuck out. It's a little dark. Bear with me. Okay. Here we go. So what we got in here? This is where the guys... It's really dark right now. But the guys actually have their rooms in there. Yeah. We're going on. Okay. So this is what we call the lounge chair. Okay. And this uh, actually Kirk brought these over here. How old are you? Thirties. 
Oh, and I promise you guys not to have a band member on video, but here I do, so. What's up? Let me not have a band member on video. Um, seven, you um, huh? so I'm going to Diet Coke with lemon, because I really like them. More than Pepsi, light with Coke. Uh, Twist. Can I wait? No. Today's not the day. No, okay, no. So let's keep on here in HQ. What? What are you doing? Doing a little update for the kids. Okay, don't use the bit that you just filmed with me. Okay, that's being cut out. Okay, I didn't have anything funny to say. Huh. I wasn't, I don't know. They I love your hair, babble. But, huh? They love your babble. They want more babble. Who? Everyone out there. Yeah. Boards. This is really going out? Live. <laughs> the live, really? That's pretty cool. Wow. You're not live right now. Huh? He's not live. Hell yeah. He's alive. He's alive, but it's not live. Go uh, Giants, right? Is that what you're supposed to say? Yeah. Right. Right to the World Series. What? What? Cool. Go Giants. You're on the big chair. We're moving on. Seriously? Seriously? Can you, like, edit that out? That was crap. I wasn't funny. No, it was stupid. <laughs> I didn't have anything obnoxious to say. Oh, that was really dumb. Okay, it's well, out. Huh? It's cut. Anything. We get lots what? of other stuff. Why don't you guys post? Why don't you get the film crew to post? Film crew. What do you want to do? What's up? What's happening? And what do you guys do here? Well, we we're obviously we're eating the chips. Obviously, not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> we're sort of waiting for the we band to play music. It's been three months. Chips. You know, the band hasn't played music live in three months, so we're just here to capture that. And oh, we've been waiting on. around all day. I'm oh. kidding you. I'm Joe. You're, You're Joe. Joe. Burling, sure. <laughs> Come on, Joe. Don't say that. Don't. No. We, we are here to capture some I mean, of the magic. One thing. If you're going to talk to the kids, yeah. one thing. Who are the kids? This is for your website? Sorry, the fans. The fans. fans of the kids. Friends. Fr our friends. If you're going to talk to our friends mm -hmm. out in Metallica, okay. Everything you say, they take really, really seriously. <laughs> really? Okay. Okay. So you gotta like when you say like they haven't played live in three months, they're gonna they're talk gonna about that for two, two. Weeks. Well, cut Don't, that out, please. Right. So cut that I'm out. I'm not using that. So just speak from the heart. I will. And be truthful. I'll try. To explain them how proud you are to be involved in this. Why, why don't you just why don't you just say you're Bruce Sadovsky? <laughs> <laughs> just talk to the camera. How proud you are to be involved in this, and what a great film you're making. Yeah. And that they should go out and check out Paradise Lost and Paradise Lost 2 and Brothers Keeper. Okay. Support the Mem West Memphis 3, right? Yeah. And that this is going to be basically the ultimate film about the creative... Magic. Magic. Of Metallica. That is Metallica. No, not just Metallica, of any band ever. Yes. We had a choice of dozens and we decided to go with Metallica. So are the best. Who were the ones who were the 11 you turned down? Beatles, U2, uh, The Who. Who else did we turn down? Led Zeppelin. Led Zeppelin, yeah. Elvis. Uh, Elvis Presley, but he was almost dead at the time. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. The Ziggy Hendrix Marley. Right. Jimi Hendrix Experience. Right. And, entomb and entombed. And we, and we and decided... And sugar. And <laughs> we, we decided that Metallica was the be-all and end-all because they're great musicians and they're this metamorphosis turning into one of the hottest greatest bands that I've ever witnessed so who are you? my name Bruce Sinofsky one of the directors of this Metallica film and you, you will be completely engrossed when you see this band up close and personal because it's, it's the most intimate uh, portrayal of a rock band I've ever been part of and uh, they're uh, Speak from the heart. Don't be. I am. Okay. I am. I. I I'm, Are you speaking from the heart? Yes, I am. I'm quite taken with it. Wait, it's not pumping or something. I only speak from the heart. No, I think. I, look, I think Metallica. No, there was a high degree of sarcasm. In what you're no, it was not. No, I, I, I. Look, Metallica's been good friends of ours since 1996, and when we had the opportunity. Metallica, what? You don't Metallica. I've been a good, good friend of yours. Well, the other two guys didn't know who the fuck you were well, three for the first six months were, of making this film. There were three guys. Okay. That's true. That's okay. true. <laughs> well, Lars brought us into the fold. The other two guys didn't really know us until, uh, you know, uh, a couple of months into the process. But, um... Because I've been a fan of your film. 
Yeah, I understand. I'm I'll, get, interested in I'll get around that. Lars has been a big supporter of our films, and frankly... And, and of the best West Memphis 3. The band. And Lars is, a, is interested in film, has been a student of film. Yes, he And has. came as a pupil. Is that right? I mean, I, you uh, probably, I, don't know, you, I, I don't know if we, you were a pupil to the, to the mentors, but uh, oh. getting a chance to get close to the band in the last year and a half, which has been quite a long time... Um, it's been it's been a lot it's been great it's been a real journey for us and I and and honestly as a fan of their music I'm happy to say that the music they're making now is 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 I think better than what you've done before honestly I think what we we we've heard yesterday and over the last uh, three months I think if for your work it's the pinnacle I'm really I'm really pleased with it honestly how many hours do you guys have we have probably 300 hours of film. Uh, that we started late April of 2001, and here it is, October 20-something. Is that right? October 27th of 24th of 2002. Have you met Bruce? And it just gets bad. <laughs> <laughs> huh? well, this, this is the tall guy. <laughs> he Bruce always Kulik. calls us the film crew. He always says, the, you know, the film guys. I, I don't think you know, most, a lot of people call you the video guys. The video guys, which is worse. Well, I mean, are they making a film or are they making a video? We're making a film even though we're using video. It's a film. It's a definitive film. It will be the best film that's ever been made about a band, up close and personal. And wait till you meet Phil Toll. For whom the bell tolls, that is going to be something that is going to be quite magnificent. So the first thing everybody's going to ask is when is it going to come out? Um, depends when we stop shooting. It seems like this... <laughs> and the plan is Before the album? On. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> we're going to film this and we're going to continue it until the next album starts, you know, happening. No, it it started started be, I think there's going to be a film about the making of the film. There should be. Well, he well, that's that's do that. <laughs> Let's say we, that's going to let's say we hope the film is done in the spring to come out simultaneously or be at least almost done by the... Well, maybe the he'll know. If he knows when his film is coming out, he might also know when the album's coming out. It's either so gonna instead be of asking us or Nicholas, why don't you ask these guys because maybe they know when the album's coming out. It's either going to be out. May 1st, June 1st, or July 1st. Of what year? St. Anger's year. You have to cut that out? Are we going to cut that out? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, man. Here. It's a secret. It all the way. Edit, just... edit, edit. But... Why don't you just go in and go through all the song titles, all the album possibilities, and play them all the music while you're at it? Well, we've been taking the music that we've got on our, you know, our, our tapes and stuff, and we've been playing it over the airwaves for the last two months. Columbia. Yeah. Columbia. We made so much money. We made more money than we're getting paid to do the film. Cut. By boot. By boot. By, by, by boot. By bootlegging. There's not that much money in the world. <laughs> Foreign right. sales are up to oh, two and a half million, I think. Any other detail, details you want to share with the people out there regarding the film you guys Look, are doing? The You're science. psyched about all the oh, I'm, good stuff? Yeah, you know, really cool. you know, you know, how often do you get invited into the studio to watch the creative process? You know, oh, was, we, no, almost never. You know, we, we were invited in, and we've been able to be there from the first note of a song, the most embryonic state of a song, the first note, the first thought, and to be able to follow that all the way to its conclusion and hopefully some of them will be on the album, is, is something that hasn't been done before. And I think the level of trust that the band has given us is uh, I don't think I've ever seen before. And I'll, you know, from Let It Be until, you know, until Wilco, I don't think it, it's been there before. So um, it's gotten better and better and better you know, from the start. Trust. Do you have any highlights you want to share? No, because all highlights relate to the music, and I don't want to give away too much about the music. That's going to have to happen, you know, later on. I think some of the highlights is uh, going with James and his tea bucket. That was kind of cool. That was so much fun. And uh, well, you you were out with Bob on the water mm -hmm. and those jet ski things. Mm -hmm. That was kind of cool. Following Lars to the into the Sotheby's or Christie's art world was Sotheby's. Christie's. I was just remembering Christie's was was it ama was amazing. Yeah, the band playing at Chemos was was very cool, hot. And what else did we do? Oh yeah, the fan day we here was really cool. They went back to all the places that they'd lived in and all the places that they played. You know, they took a tour with all the fans. That was very cool. And then they auditioned bass players, you know, to replace uh, Jason. Um, are you allowed to say Jason? Huh? Are we allowed to say Jason? Or is that another edited word? We'll see. The new Jason, you mean? 
I don't think he's revealed yet. Is there, new, is there a new Jason? Oh, is there a new Jason or an old Jason? I'm, I don't know anything. I, I know less. I know less. Us that you know. Man. I know less than him. I'm just the drummer. But they went back to the garage where they wrote some of their early songs, and all the clubs and stuff. And then, then they 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 played good music that night. Cool. Remember, what else? Is this Phil Toll? Hey, this is Phil Toll. Phil. Hey, what's up? So, uh, <laughs> what's, what's happening? Say it a little more. Just give them, do like a metal thing. Yeah, or, wait, let me see. Wait, wait, hey, wait, what's up? What is this? The St. Louis uh, Rams? Come on. <laughs> uh, wait a minute. Is it like. Is it. Wait a minute. That's close enough. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Wait, I got it. <laughs> Where's, uh, someone give me a cigarette lighter. Going right to the stadium. This, this really is going to be edited. It's going right to the stadium. You're going to edit the whole thing out. God. <laughs> it's live right now. Yeah, what's up? So, uh, what's happening? What would you say? Tell who you are. Who are you? What's your name? My name is Phil Toll. Enough it's, of the bullshit. It's your distinct me, pleasure. No, what is, what is it? Sincere. I am sincere. I mean, what, 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 you guys are all what having about fun. A talk show? Come on. What is it? Okay. I just, I'm speaking from my heart. Yeah, it's really nice to be here. So what am I here? What am I here doing? Just tell me. <laughs> That's what I'm asking. <laughs> for the, well, our friends out of Metalaland. Hey, friends out of Metalaland. I exactly. want to tell you these guys are really cranking it out. They're really cranking it out. They're really doing crank. <laughs> no, no, that's not Listen. right, Bruce. Yo, Nicholas is trying to get something out there for our friends. And yeah, well, got these, like, you know, it's, it's great to. I am happy to be here and finally get a chance to say something to you guys out there. I'm really been, you know, I've been wanting to get a chance to say something to you. Here's your chance. I'll tell you what. Here's here's my chance to say something. Send me your questions. Let me know what you want to ask me about what I see going on here. Behind the scenes, you know, kind of give me a different angle of stuff, you know? Okay, that's enough. Okay, okay, no, okay, enough. Stop. And I can't. If you, you've you been wanting to talk to the you kids know, for what months. What are you saying to me for? I mean, that's pretty. What, what is it? But what's with the, the kind of the cheesy attitude? I never hey. have a cheesy attitude. Well, come on. What? That was called sense of humor, having some fun. Over there, they don't have that, you know? <laughs> this is just my way of, you know, saying hello to everybody out there. I'm really happy to be here. This is Bob, and, Bob Richmond. <laughs> Come on. And that's Bob. We'll Bob's the cameraman. That's right. Hi. Bob the Builder. It's great being here. Bob is building a <laughs> repertoire of... On the other side of the camera. Listen. Just be, just be patient with everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and... Now it all stops. And are you Mr. Now ITS? I'm uh, Mr. ITS. Uh, what does uh, ITS stand for? In the studio. So here we are in the studio. Is that what? <laughs> so let me continue show you guys around. You got a second? Are you happy to be uh ITS? Uh, I'm not bald. That's gotta be what? cut. That's cut. <laughs> cut. No no, it's the way the light is bouncing. <laughs> yeah, it's not my head. <laughs> yeah? Oh, it's not his head real. No, no, it's because he's he's so dedicated to what he's doing that he's perspiring. That is true. I think what it is is, can we do a video now? Come on, guys. And then there's, you know. That's hey, true. Tom. Hey, oi, be Tom. nice. Tom. So, okay. Hey, good morning. The guys have just arrived in the studio. Here's today's post. Good morning. The guys just arrived at the <laughs> studio. Good Another good meeting. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like a really good day. And now Everybody they're going to. There are probably things that all we do down here is just have meetings. Well, that's not entirely untrue. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that's hey, we've had you know we had a lot of stuff to sort out in the last year. Okay, do you mind? Okay, there's a lot of stuff that comes in the wake oh, of making what from the heart. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I am being serious. Hey, you know, if you didn't have all those meetings, you wouldn't be making the great music you're making. So it's all all part and parcel. And and Phil's a, Phil's a precipitator. Precipitator? No, precipitation? <laughs> yeah. So precipitation. Yeah, your precipitation. Okay. Yeah, the last two days we're about Let's continue to Zach's world. Alright. Thanks, man. Yeah, you, right, that's great. So are you guys going to have... So let's see. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go in here. Thinking about it, or I mean, is it... Should we come back tomorrow? What's on the phone? I'm sorry, dude, but we're just about there. We just got to get... Give me your hand. What? What do you want, on? man? Just want an update. 
What's going on? What's, uh, What's updating? This, I'm fucking waiting for the goddamn fucking people who are running the goddamn fucking recording process to fucking get their goddamn fucking shit together so we can record some fucking music, goddamn. So that's what you're waiting for? That's what the fuck I'm waiting for. What I wanted to tell you, Lars, is that, you know, the Federal Reserve Bank... 37, 37, 37, 37. Privately owned. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got a little shot of the control room action We're going on Okay, so we're going on Can't show too much of that That was a nice one Okay, here we got a few This is where we put up our pictures Let's go on here We're going into Zach's world Zach's the president The man, the guy that's been around the band for a long time And here's this world and this is what's going on here. This is where he got all the equipment. And they got way more than this. This is just a a good start. I mean, this is what he does all day. Right, kind of, kind of what I was getting at was, I wasn't sure with you and Mike if this is something where you want to leave first thing tomorrow morning, and then you get here. And you can't do anything because the band are recording. I would say that he's pretty busy right. all the time. And this is a camera for him, or I should say a TV for him to kind of, you know, make sure he knows what's going on everywhere. Right, That's kind of what I'm saying is there's control no room you leaving that your we're house just at in. in the morning to go get on a flight. That's the, what we call the A room where they record. Right. So it's like, why didn't That's you the room where we're going to enter day. soon. Then you get here. And that's the black and then album. You might be able to do stuff in the evening, room. and Mike says he'll also meet you here on Saturday. So I just kind of wanted to find, I'm just asking my age. Here we got James's guitar tech trying, trying to put something together. Yeah, you know, important stuff. Screw up br- perfectly good guitars, <laughs> take them apart and find out how they work, and then never get to put them back together again. Was that when you called for Zach? You take them apart, and then it doesn't work. <laughs> Yeah, it's like the lawnmower, you know. Always take it apart and then can't remember how to put it back together and you get a bunch of parts left over. And Buy a new one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look, honey, I fixed it. <laughs> yeah, well, I tried. But, you know, I spend like six hours on it and then it still doesn't work. You know. So let's move on here. So this is Zach's world. All the equipment. The new bays that we've seen. So let's move on. Metallic fridge. That Lars showed us last time. No way. Okay. And this is where we had the fan club, the launch party. It was really cool, a lot of fun. This is where Zach kind of puts uh, <clears throat> all the equipment here. So when they're ready to roll, in here, in the sanitarium, then uh, he just gets it in there. So. Here's some drums right now. Let's see who's on drums. Now we're entering the A room, as we call it. Have you guys seen some footage from in here before? And then we're meeting another HQ crew person, Fleming. And he only speaks Danish, so... So, can we lige... So, can we lige... Slope it now. Slope it is skid and loft it up. So, so Flemmy has a problem understanding the rest of us because he just speaks Danish. Niklas, but he's okay with Lars. Niklas for helvede. Et med ørerne. Der hedder sådan nogen på svensk. Ørepropper. 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 Niklas. Niklas. Hvad? Hvad sker der? Skal du ørepropper? Are you on the kit? Yeah. It'd be here, great to hear kick, snare and hi-hat. What we see over there is the control and where Bob's telling people what to do. Double K. 
Rockets. warmed up yet so can you wait and film me till I'm like more warmed up okay because they're gonna sit and judge so I heard they just eh, he just played this scare uh, and I'm not really warmed up yet do you know what I mean <laughs> oh shit, oh, shit. <clears throat> oh, is it still hanging yes no <laughs> oh, fuck. come on play drums okay. you want to do something I'm doing it fuck I go Phil, I can't. Okay, I'm that's shy. that's a sign of leaving. <laughs> He's doing all the mics. That's it. The guy that makes it all available online, Mike. Well you can if you can play drums then we can play the feel after Cool. Okay, so I think that's it, guys. That's it.